Come check out some really great hobby supplies to get your Beats Lab organized. I can bits. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear with you again today, checking out a couple of dope ideas for you to get your hobby space organized. Now, I know we all suffer from, hey, let's just throw it all in a box and then spend an hour trying to find what we're working on when we're painting up miniatures or converting stuff. So fortunately, Slow Fuse Gaming has heard our cries and created the Click Boom <laughs> Hobby Storage Organization System, which consists of uh, three modular units, which actually interconnect uh, depending on how you do want to do it. Uh, unfortunately, I have to do this top down. I don't have the facilities right now to show it to you all stacked, unfortunately. But take my word for it, these do lock in just like you see right here. And they go vertically as well, if you so desire. Now, each of these racks are $22.99 and they come, uh, you know, flat packed. They are MDF laser cut wood. I, I know looking through the viewfinder, they look a little off kilter, but trust me, they are 100% square and assembled correctly. They actually come with full color instructions on how to put them together. So, he, you know, he, he, he went out of his way uh, to make it straight. Now, if you want to buy the inserts and such, that's something we're going to show you here in a second. The uh, stadium risers for the normal flip top bottles are $6.99 for a pack of two. And then there's a paintbrush holder that's also $6.99. They both go inside this uh, large, arid, <laughs> wide open modular rack right here. So this one over here, now these are all 11, 11 inches by 11 inches square. And that has to do a lot with, you know, most people's paint areas might be, you know, two feet wide or two feet deep by like, you know, four feet, three feet wide. So these are almost like the perfect size for that. And everybody seems to be butt up against the wall. So you can go horizontal with your stuff. So they're 11 by 11, six inches deep, which in this case, I don't feel like he needs to go six inches deep with this particular one right here. I almost feel like he could make an insert. You could do a double up insert it wouldn't go with this template here, but maybe that's something for the future where he could do a spinner rack. Like if you just want to have this on a spinner sort of thing, you could utilize uh, two of the same, like a double side of this because the nozzles, which you're about to see right here, go straight in for your drop of bottles. And these fit most varieties. Uh, this is the Army Painter. I guess this is scale 75, which would be the same as Vallejo. So all of this is going to fit in here. Here's some custom 15 mil ones off the Ebays. So generally they're all going to fit in there and they're going to be flush. So you don't have to worry about that, which I think is uh, pretty ingenious as well. Now, like I said, they're going to come flat packed. So you're going to, you're going to have to do a little bit of assembly. Full color instructions, no big deal. And you can see here where you use glue. I think he recommends using Gorilla Glue, but I was like, you know what? Just Elmer's glue works just fine. And sure enough, it did. You just have to be careful when you're putting it together that these tabs are actually important, not only because they lock into each other horizontally, but if you're putting it together and then you put it on a side and it's not, it's not attached, it's gonna push out. So it's gonna like <laughs> be detrimental to the cost. So you have to kind of look where things aren't sticking out and then make sure that you line it up that way. But that's just that's just the one little thing that I noticed when I was putting the things together. You wanna to be careful how you're bracing things and making sure everything's square. So this one's pretty cool and I, I could see where a lot of people will say, hey, this is what I want, 64 paints. Okay, cool, most paint sets. I mean, Army Painter's 125, I think. Uh, the scale 75 is also around 125 so you get you know two of these you should be good to go for all those paints some of the Vallejo lines are around the same as well but if you're gonna do stuff like you want to get crazy and get all the model colors and things like that you're talking 300 so be careful with what you know only order what you need right there but 64 is, is plenty I feel like for most people um, out there so this pretty much self-explanatory that's a good that's a good set now like I said they do lock together I want to show you that please forgive not being able to see this actual horizontally on the tabletop we're looking at it top down but I can assure you everything is good to go so these assemble together but you can also like I said go vertical with them as well if you want to and they're gonna lock in and 
just like that, whether it's horizontal or whether it's vertical. So this would stand on your desk and this would be about 22 inches tall, which again, I feel like is a really good, so a really good robust size for a lot of folks. So let me put that on the ground here. Now we've got these two here. Now this is the same box, right? The same insides, the same gut, so to speak, the same template, everything is going to be the same. Well, what's cool about this one is you can configure it however you want. Now, I glued this bottom in, not realizing, unfortunately, kind of how the modular system works. But this top, if I had if I had just left it open, this top actually pops out. Of course, it's not going to do it here. On the, yeah, there we go. So this top actually pops out, and it's flush. It's all flush, so you can slide it right out. I'm not going to because... Now it's being all fiddly, but it, it locks right in. It's good tolerances and everything. If you, you just gotta kind of line it up, and me going from top down doesn't exactly looking through the fisheye lens isn't helping things out. But this piece pops off too, so you can kind of get either or. It's gonna come with this. You can buy these uh, separate to lock in here, or you can get the paintbrush holder, which you're not gonna be able to put a lot of stuff behind it because you wanna leave space. You know, maybe you could put like one thing back there, like a glue or something. I don't know but you can grab your brushes and then this actually will come out and you can set this up on your table, have you know space up here to put your, your water or whatever, what have you, maybe some glues, maybe you just get this freestanding. These are $6.99 for uh, the paintbrush holder and the stadium seating for the flip top bottles. So the boxes themselves, which in in and of itself is not a bad not a bad thing either, because it all locks in. It gives you plenty of room. You can put glues. You can put other bigger things if you want, or you just you know whatever specific to you. Like you keep your airbrushes or something. Maybe you just want a place to stow it in the system. Uh, Slowfuse uses six of these on his stream, and I think he has the paintbrush in the middle. I could see where people would do that. Maybe eight, maybe just four. I'm gonna go with four on my paint desk because I'm kind of, kind of, kind of put it in a corner, kind of like this configuration here. I don't need a paintbrush holder, and that's why it's cool because it's a modular system, right? So everybody has a different need, and you can kind of kit it out the way you want. So up here, you can put crazy stuff like maybe, maybe your water pot, and then put it on here when you're good to go. Maybe some glass beads, you know, for mixing things. Maybe empty paint bottles what have you it's all sorts of uh, spots up here maybe like some of your brush cleaners and stuff can go up there whatever uh, the stadium seating or the flip top models right here now this will sit this will sit separate if you just want to buy these and set these across your table $6.99 for a pack of two and that is going to be 22 inches wide I feel like that's a good value as well because you know a lot of people out there are selling you know um, what is it where they have the, the dropper bottle and it's all like drilled out and it's all super nice and don't get me wrong but for $6.99 I feel like hey if you're on a budget and you just want a couple of these and that's good enough for you you just want some risers uh, that seems to be like a good value too but if you want it locked in the box I'm actually gonna put all my stuff on these and actually put them into a cardboard box for when I go down to game stores and stuff that's what I'm gonna do so I've already found a box that will fit several of these spoiler alert the hammer mill copy paper box if you're familiar with those and you print a lot of things or you're around an office and you have the legal size paper box that fits three of these boxes perfectly <laughs> spoiler alert so you got the stadium rising risers you can put in you know things like this you can, of course, put these in here if you want to, but there's really no need because you already have those on the other ones. And then you can have stuff like the P3 flip tops. And the risers are done as such so that you can actually see when you're looking down what paints are behind it. So you don't have to really worry, hey, uh, is that Meridius blue or is that Exile blue back there? Oh, okay, cool, I can see it. And of course, it fits the normal G-Dub paint pots, whether they're the high, the high tops or uh, the low top sneakers right there. It's all good to go. And it even fits other things too. I guess you can't really fit that in there, but you can fit that in there. So there's a little bit of space up here that you can put things. But again, if you put those in there, you're not going to really have a lot of room to kind of mess around with. So I think it's a pretty nifty little product that, again... It's very modular, so you can kit it out to your particular needs and your particular desires for your hobby space. It's small enough. The 11 by 11 
it's you know it's cubes so you can fit it in in different configurations into your space and then each individual cube you can kit out to your particular needs as well so i think it's a pretty ingenious little product there's nothing keeping slow fuse from coming out with additional little modular inserts as he goes you know like i me personally i would i have a couple ideas i've been kicking around with them but but i'm not the majority of people because you know i want to take my stuff and i want to kick it down to the game store sometimes so i've already kind of figured out a workaround or i want to go out to the living room hey let me just grab this right here and walk out there but some people you know their their time is you get home from work you want to hobby out or school or what have you and then it's perfect because it's all setting up there so again being modular i feel like is a strength at this instance it all goes together very well the instructions are very easy to read so overall you know i, I think it's a great product for the price whether you want to buy the boxes whether you want to just buy you know the uh the paintbrush holders or the stadium riser seating here for your flip top paints all the way around i think it's uh it's a slam dunk you know it's a, a home run he knocked it out of the park with this particular product here uh, from slow fuse gaming of course you can see the link below in the description in all the notes and uh, you know check it out he's got a bunch of these in stock right now currently they're they have uh, a laser in town so he can always uh, get them restocked in a timely manner so i feel good about promoting this product that it won't just go out of stock and always be out of stock as some some of the cases out there uh, happen with these type of products you know when you harness the power of the sun to do something there's a little bit of uh, you know responsibility and or you know uh, issues just using that kind of machinery you know the, the lasers themselves have can have issues from time to time if they aren't up kept correctly but when you're using it third party at another place they're obviously keeping them up so I feel like this is a this is a great thing and it should be in stock for a long while to come there so sorry for the big roundabout long-winded explanation about why I think this is so cool it's sometimes hard to put words um, you put things into words about how cool something is compared to some of the other products out there on the market and I'm, I'm really digging these and I can't wait I just ordered two more uh, to go on my table so I'll obviously be, pit, be posting up pictures and such of when I get it all set up uh, for my Beats Lab uh, here at the Spiky Bits Cat Command Center. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Slow Fuse Click Boon Modular Hobby Shelving System. <laughs> it's a lot of words. <laughs> Check it out over there on slowfusegaming.com. If you like these type of features, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on these features when they go right up. And of course, head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today.